Sorry, I'm trying to adjust this as best I can. I'm also eating, so don't murder me. I keep eating everywhere. Y'all guys are probably getting sick of me eating on my channel. Probably sick of me being a badass. <laughs> But you know what? It's fine. So we're gonna go this way. Now you listen to me. Where did you take Sedan? He went on his own to see Garland. Garland? Ooh, that's a sinister name. But Sedan wouldn't just leave us hanging. He went, yes, he went to find out the reason for his existence. Liar, that's a terrible lie. I am an enemy of the people of Gaia, he said as he walked through the gate to Pandemonium. Exclamation. We, we gotta tell the others. Heaven grant the wandering souls eternal repose. So this must be Arlen's haunted mansion. Talk about bad tasted interior decorating. Alright, time to teach this tyrant a thing or two. So, we meet again. Exclamation and question mark. Who are you? Twelve years ago, I lost one of my most prized gnomes. I created him and sent him to Gaia to disrupt the cycle of souls there. Ah. You are that gnome. I am glad you have returned. Shut up. Nobody tells me what to do. And I didn't come here to answer to you. Let me guess. You must be Garland. And what if I am? Then you're going down, but first you're going to tell me everything. Like, why did I grow up on Gaia, and why do you want to destroy it? I have no intention of destroying Gaia, I only wish to make Gaia into Terra. What did you just say? Of course, not everything went as planned. You're, you gr growing up on Gaia, for example. There is another one, built as you are. He may be the one who threw a wrench into my gears. He? Who the heck are you talking about? Someone you know quite well. Follow me. The time when the aura of Gaia will turn to the crimson glow of terror has not yet come. I may need your help anyway. I felt like he was talking about Kuja. Pandemonium. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Stop. Now tell me everything. I constructed the gnomes to be vessels for the souls of the people of Terra when they awaken. But 24 years ago I gave life to a gnome that was very much like you. His will was too strong to make him into a proper vessel, and I even considered discarding him. But then I thought that I should put his strength to use. I sent the gnome as my servant to disrupt the cycle of souls on Gaia. Yes, yeah, so tell me who he is already. I'm sorry, it was scratching my ear. It was bothering me. Do you not yet know you and he are so much alike? Alike, I've never met anyone like me. You judge only by appearances. I mean someone with a soul similar to yours. 
The one I sent to Gaia, I accidentally hit the button. My bad. So I missed the rest of that. And his name is Kudra. Kudra, he's a gnome, and possible he doesn't even have a tail. He is only hiding it. He denies his own identity. He rejects the meaning of his existence and tries to assert his own individuality. <clears throat> Don't you see the resemblance? Shut up. I'm not like him at all. He said the same thing when speaking about the other gnomes. I'm not like these guys. <clears throat> His ambition was unbecoming of a gnome, but it was perfect for the mission I gave him. To bring war and chaos to Gaia, that was what I sent him to do. To induce an unnaturally chaotic flow, so then why? The, the disruption of the flow of souls is best brought about by war. And what he did for me far exceeded my greatest expectations. What about me? How did I end up on Gaia? When you received the gift of life and brawn ball, Gudra could not bear it. He could not bear to see a gnome with more power than his own. He felt threatened. Kuja discarded you. He dropped you onto Gaia, the world he would destroy. So I was to be your slave, just like Kuja, to start a war on Gaia. That is correct. I did not expect Kuja to abandon you, but I believed it was his nature. And to him, bringing war to Gaia would pr prove his victory over you. Perhaps it is because of his desire to justify his existence that he let you live as well. So that is why the blood of thousands had to be spilled. Are you referring to Kuja's ambition, or to our plan to disrupt the cycle of souls? Both. Then what exactly do you gain by disrupting that cycle of souls or whatever? We must sort the souls. I want to disrupt Gaia's cycle and drain its souls, filling the void with the souls of Terra. Excuse me. I'm trying to do this while also fighting against my burps, and it's hard. <laughs> to speed the cycle of souls is to speed the work as a whole, thus war. And in time, Gaia's souls are gone and Gaia becomes Terra. But how? You saw it with your own eyes. You saw the Aoife tree and the mist it emits. The role of the life, ugh, the role of the Aoife tree is that of a soul divider. The mist you were see compromises the stagnant souls of Gaia. Oh yeah, but we stopped the mist. So much for that. All you saw was the back of the tree. Even now, the Aoife tree blocks the flow of Gaia's souls while it lets those of Terra flow freely. Come and see for yourself. See the true form of this planet. What is this? Think of it as an observatory, a place to measure the radiance of Gaia and Terra. What are you talking about, and what is this weird light? That is the center of the planet, the end and the beginning of the cycle of souls. The light remains Gaia's for now, but when the blue changes to crimson, all will belong to Terra and its restoration will be complete. That is why I wrapped up the light in the Aoife tree to prevent the cycle of the judgment of souls on Gaia from inside the planet. Such is the Aoife tree's true purpose, its fo true form, all you saw was its material form. The flow of Gaia's souls cannot be changed simply by stopping the disposal of mist. So, Kuja is just an angel of death who sends souls to the tree of Aoife? Yes, my angel of death, but only until you came of age. What do you mean? 
His soul is not eternal. I was going to create you next, after all. You mean you won't need Kuja's soul once I grow stronger than him? Precisely. Soon that time will come. Dot dot dot. Well, now you should be fully aware of the meaning of your existence. Exhalation and question mark. Yeah, I'm aware of all the laughter, all the tears I've shared with the people I grew up with on Gaia. Forget all that. You are destined to live among the stars for all eternity. You have the power, the position, and the motive to do it. I wouldn't want that kind of power. If only I had a, uh, a place to call home. My brother in Tantalus. My brothers in Tantalus. Vivi, Freya, Amaru, Queena, Steiner, Eco, and Dagger. My home is with them in Gaia. If you say I have a motive, then it's to punish all of you who brought pain to my friends. I'll destroy Terra. That's reason enough for my birth here as a Gano. Regrettable. I thought your soul would be perfect for a new angel of death. I am the new angel of death. Yours. Don't you know what it means to meet your maker? Shut up. I've heard enough of your crap. I'm taking you out right here, right now. Foolishness. The body becomes a vessel which greets a new soul. What's happening? He's too good to make into a regular gnome, but I have no choice. I can't believe I actually returned to this place, but soon, soon the power will be mine alone. Mwahahaha, just you wait, Garland, and you too, Sidon. I'll exact sweet revenge upon you both for insulting me. I'll make the people of both Gaia and Terra know who rules over all of them. Ha, 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 ha. Confusion. Um. Uh, well, you, excuse me. You're not recording right now. Yes, I am. Just once, I would like to have a video where I don't have my parents constantly saying I love you. <laughs> I love them. I really do. But my mom gets on my nerves sometimes because she does not understand that I want to have peace and quiet. Who am I? I don't know anything. I cannot think at all. Sadan. Yeah, I was called that once. Many people called me that. You always have to show off, don't you? Yeah, maybe I do. Why, you worthless mendicant? Yep, sounds about right. How very becoming of you. Becoming of me? I really learned a lot by traveling with you, Sedan. Yeah, right, I have nothing to teach. You teach me many things more important than tasty munchies. No, I don't know anything. You call that friendship? 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 Sedan! I don't know who I am. You were always there for me, Sedan. I'm so tired. Now come, how come you're always so, I, I am, and 
empty vessel. Sedan. Who? Wake up, Sedan. Who? Come on, Sedan, wake up. Ow. Sedan. BV Eco. Thank goodness you're alive. We thought you were dead. Oh. I. We were so worried. Why did you come here all by yourself? What are you doing here? Huh? We came to save you, of course. And it wasn't easy. We went off all alone. Leave me alone. Huh? This has nothing to do with you. Oh, come on. There he goes, being the tough guy. Look, Sidon, it's not just about you. Come on, Sidon, don't be like that. Let's... Shut up! Just shut up, you stupid brat. Sidon? Sidon? What the heck? Why is he being so mean? Dot, dot, dot. Sedan, wait up. You need rest, Sedan. Will you little twitch just shut up? There are some things kids can't understand. Is this a horse? What? I need to change this weapon. Looks like you need some help. Obviously. Can't you even take care of yourself? How foolish of you to go alone. Dot dot dot. Damn hypocrite always talking about friendship when you're nothing but a selfish loner. I can take care of myself. Come back, Sedan. Dot dot dot. Exclamation question. Nyag. Aya. I will not be defeated so easily. Now I'm mad. I cook you good. Signer, Queena, what are you doing? Taste this something. I don't even know. 